Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome back. It's Vicious, and this is the second episode of Let's Play Starbound. I did a little bit of off-camera farming just because that planet was boring, and we had pretty much seen everything on it. What we needed, though, was some leather so that we can go to the second planet in the system that I'm in. Because it's a snow planet, we have to have some warm clothes. So I went in farming, and we got 23 pieces of leather here, so that's more than enough to make what we need for the armor. I also have 134 pieces of alien meat now, so I have plenty of steaks. Uh, I made the chest piece already. I'm wearing it. Uh, let's go ahead and craft the infantry helmet and the pants. And we can put those on as needed. Put the crown as a cosmetic item. The first row is what you're actually wearing as far as armor goes, and therefore you get the stats from that armor. However, uh, to prevent the issue of good armor looking crappy, if you want it to look a certain way, the second column is what you can put on your character for looks. So you can put on your really good armor, but wear the uh, stuff that you like for looks. I'm going to keep my crown on here since we earned that so valiantly last episode with all the uh, things trying to kill us in the castle. Alright, we're armored up. This is very, very low armored uh, armor as far as defense goes. Only five between all the pieces. But you can craft it as early as we just did, and it's some of the warmest armor in the game. So pretty much I don't have to worry about the snow anymore. Still using that hunting knife weapon. I'm going to finally uh, toss that aside. We do have something in here, I'm sure. We have this gun. Might as well put that in there instead of the bow. And we picked up an axe. There we go or sledgehammer even though it's not more dps than the the knife was it has the overhead swing which i think is much easier to hit something with uh, so i like this better oh this is a very slow weapon i don't like that too much let's try that gun out alrighty then nothing too fancy let's help we find some better stuff on this other planet so let's uh let's do some traveling we're gonna go to the snow planet if it's in the same system, I think it only cost one fuel. Not very much at all. If you go to another system, it costs about 200 fuel. So that means you have to burn quite a bit of coal. Uh, while it's going, we can uh, let it be. Let's cook up some of that alien meat. Let's create a campfire. Also, I got a bed earlier. Let's find that bed. Here we go. Glitch bed. Thought I had another one. Not seeing it, so we'll just throw the glitch bed down. Oh, not enough room. Oh well, I'll eat a bandage. I was going to sleep while we were traveling to uh, heal myself up a little bit. Not necessary. It's okay. How's that food coming? Pretty quickly. Let that finish up. We organize a little bit here. Put some banana seeds in there. My petals and planting related things I'll keep in this box. That's good enough for now. And pretty much right now what I'm looking for is hopefully some techs. Any any one of the first two starter techs, which is the energy dash and the pulse jump, would be very, very helpful for meeting the boss and also for getting around. And we need, I think we need a better weapon. 
before we take on this boss. So that's what I'm hoping to find here. But the snow planets, I think, usually are really good for resources like coal and such. And so if we can't find what we're looking for here, we'll go to another planet. All right, we have plenty of meat to eat. Let's go explore. That looks like a flying cat. Well, I can already tell you one thing I don't like about this planet. I see that we have green water, which is acid. I hate acid. More often than not, I end up in it. And you can see it's even killing the natives. And there's your first dunk into the void. <laughs> Thought I could make it. Snowman, cool. Jeez. Ah. Things are fast. Let's see, looks like maybe gold there. The worst thing is when you're diving into a cave though, you dive down into a cave and you're jumping into poison and it happens nine out of 10 times. But sometimes you find some of the best stuff down there, so you have to take a chance. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. Can't even find my weapon now. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh my god, where's my weapon? That was messed up. <clears throat> so maybe a bit of advice when it comes to hotkeying weapons, the left and right clicks I don't like very much because you can't press a hotkey to pull your weapon out as far as I know. If you uh, mouse scroll till you get to it and you press like say three then you press X to switch back. But what happened was I went and pulled something else out like the flashlight then my X was going back and forth between the bandage and it just wasn't working right. I don't know, could not get my weapon out. Well, that was a fun first tour. I feel very, very weak. I mean, so far we've had bad luck with weapons and also my armor is just I'm getting ripped apart. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're going back down here again. Let's light it up a little bit. Wow, this goes down there. And that's poison. Thought that was water, maybe. It's the little tiny ones like this that you can't even see that are the most annoying because they still poison you just the same as all the others. I think one of the most fun things about this game is when you come across something awesome. Uh, something not expected, you know, or the first time you see something unique like a prison or, a, you know, earlier we went into that castle. The castle didn't really have anything nice for us, but you will find places that have awesome stuff for you. Like, example, here is a random alien hut.
A little bit more gold. Should we venture down in here or not, is the question. Nope, nothing down there. Random NPCs. I don't know if they're friendly or aggressive. I've never actually seen that species in, in, in the game. They seem to be... Yeah, I don't know. They seem like they might be aggressive. No, I guess not. Ooh, what's that? Interesting. I think that's what, the Florian? It looks like we found like a little Florian village or something. What I'm not seeing is anything worth having here. Just a little random NPC gathering there. Nothing, no one to. I was hoping it'd at least be a merchant or something. A lot of the uh, blueprints that craft good items come from merchants. Those guys, easy. Sometime later this week, I'm sure that I'll get uh, one of my co-casters on here with us and we can do like a two-person let's play. This thing has a really slow swing. That might have been why I died earlier. Maybe I did have it on. I just couldn't even swing it because I kept getting attacked. And I think it resets the uh, swing timer. Some silver. This might just be enough. Then when we get back to the ship, I can finally make that silver pickaxe. And I know I've already got enough gold to make the gold one. So that'll be a nice upgrade for us. And that platinum that we found really early on in the chest, uh, that we might actually be able to use that and go all the way up to the platinum pickaxe. We'll have to see what we got when we get back to ship. Actually, got another? that's ridiculous. This is why I like that overhead swing. It helps get things that are coming down from you above you. Much more of an arc than that knife we were using. And more 
more silver. It's good for us so far. Treasure chest, always a nice find. Uh, Stem packs and bombs. Grab this coal at least. And that copper. I'll keep heading east until we get to uh, night, then we'll go up to the ship, upgrade as we can, and then uh, we'll come back down here and head west and see what we can find. There's a lot of locations you can find online as far as, oh, that's not bad, look at that, five gold bars. As far as like where you can find techs and uh, things like that, that can give you a really good head start in the game if you don't consider that cheating. But I'm not sure if they're still good because of the, the recent patch might have changed all of those locations. So that's why um, we're just doing it on our own. PCs, it looks like. Bombs, meat. Here's a sword, not really that good. We have gotten really bad luck with weapons so far. Looks like another small outpost. 